Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm making cheesy chicken flautas with the creamy avocado salsa. It's one of my absolute favorite things to eat, and it's so easy to make too. You're gonna love this. There seems to be some debate over whether to call these flautas or taquitos based on the type of tortilla that you use. I'm using corn, but the name flautas actually refers to the shape. Literally translated, it means flutes because that's what they look like, little flutes when they're done. Now, I grew up in Southern New Mexico, close to the border, and we had flautas all the time. We would have them in Mexico. They were always made with corn tortillas and they were always called flautas. So I don't know where the debate started, but I would say just call them whatever you'd like, flautas or taquitos. I'm making them with shredded chicken today, and I'm going to be using some pepper jack cheese as well. You're going to need plenty of oil for frying and, of course, the corn tortillas, right? Now, these go terrific with a creamy avocado salsa, which I've shared that recipe with you before, but in case you missed it, I'm going to show you again. You just need two ripe avocados, one jalapeno, a couple of tablespoons of sour cream or Mexican crema, just use whatever you have. You'll need a small bunch of fresh cilantro, one garlic clove, some salt to taste, the juice of about half a lime, two thirds of a cup of water. In fact, we're going to start by making the salsa first because we wanna have that ready to go when the flautas are nice and hot. So let's get started. Since this is a small amount, I'm going to use my magic bullet, but you can use a blender or food processor, whatever you have, and you literally just put in all the ingredients I mentioned in there. The avocado, the jalapeno, which I removed the stem and seeds from beforehand. I put in a couple of tablespoons of this Mexican crema, or use sour cream if that's what you have. And don't worry about being precise. I'll add a small bunch of this fresh cilantro, trying to use just the leaves and not so much of the stems. Using my garlic press, I add in the minced garlic clove, some fresh squeezed lime juice, again about half a lime is just right. And finally the water. This is two thirds of a cup, but this will depend on how you like the consistency. You might want to start with a little less and then decide if you want it a little more runny, then you can add a little more water. Now I already know this is the amount that works for me. Then I blend and in a matter of moments, I should have a smooth, creamy avocado salsa. I almost forgot the salt. Ooh, this is making a mess. But it looks good, right? This made a huge mess though. I'm gonna have to wipe this. As beautiful as this looks, it tastes even better. But look at that, nice and creamy. You're gonna love it. Now I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator just to keep it chilled. That's where you wanna store it. And then we'll get started making the flautas. Now for the chicken, you can cook it however you like, or even use a store-bought rotisserie chicken. I cooked mine on the stovetop by boiling it in water. I just added some onion, salt, and a couple of bay leaves. I don't get fancy with the seasonings because simple is best in this dish. Once it cooked, I let it cool for a bit and then shredded it using a fork. So now that it looks like this, I'll grate some cheese. 
Again, this is pepper jack, but you can use the cheese of your choice. And I just add it to the shredded chicken. I mix to combine and then set it aside. Now we can start heating the corn tortillas and I do this on the stovetop using a comal. You can also do this in the microwave, although I find that it's not quite the same. Using a comal or a griddle on the stove tends to make them more pliable. The goal is so that they don't crack when we roll them. This just works best for me. Once the tortillas are hot, we can begin assembling the flautas. I just place some of this chicken and cheese filling along one side of the tortilla and roll tightly. You don't want to add too much filling because they'll have a tendency to want to open and you want them to stay closed when you set them down. Be sure to place them down with the seam to the bottom and they should stay in place. If that doesn't work for you, another trick is to use toothpicks. You just run them through the tortilla as if you were sewing with a needle and thread. Use whatever method works for you. I'm going without the toothpicks this time and they seem to be staying in place. Meantime, I've got my frying pan heating with about an inch of canola oil. And now that my flautas have been assembled and the oil is hot, I'm going to carefully place them into the hot pan. Again, with the seam side to the bottom. Let each flauta cook until it's golden brown and then flip it over and let it cook on the other side. When they come out of the hot pan, place them over some paper towels to let the excess oil drain and continue making the rest. Flautas should always be served when they're hot and they go great with pico de gallo and of course some of this uh, creamy avocado salsa that we made. I put plenty on there and some extra Mexican crema or sour cream. Just use whatever you have, whatever you like. Uh, do remember though, if uh, you did end up using the toothpicks when you fried them, be sure to take them out at this point. But let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mm. That is so delicious. I really love that it has a little bit of crispiness when you first bite into it, but then you've got the chicken and the cheese on the inside, it's wonderful. And of course, don't forget the creamy avocado salsa, which just puts it over the top. I really hope you make this, and I hope you love it as much as I do. Sorry for talking with my mouth full, <laughs> but it's really good. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I also invite you to follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.